साइडम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन एज यू नो दैट इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड स्टार्टेड विथ लेसन नंबर थर्टीन मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिजर्विंग द फूड लेट्स रिवाइज वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैड लर्न दैट देर आर डिफरेंट वराइटी ऑफ द फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल एंड द क्रॉप्स विच आर ग्रोन एट दिस सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ द टाइम ओनली बट वी नीड all these crops and vegetable and fruits throughout the year okay and suppose if we don't preserve them so there are the chances that these food they may get spoiled immediately so students to prevent the large quantities of the fruits and vegetables from getting spoiled and to enjoy them all year round we have to make the efforts to preserve them so there were certain methods of preservation which we had learnt in the last lecture so what we had learned there were three ways of preserving the food material so what were they refrigeration drying and boiling these are the three ways by which we can preserve the food materials okay so students before uh, moving to the uh, food preservative method today we will do one experiment from the experiment we will try to understand if we don't follow the methods of the preservation then what might happen so for the experiment purpose what you will have to do we have to divide a chapati into three pieces okay a chapati can be available at home very easily because this is a regular meal which is uh, uh, prepared by us so students what we are going to do we are going to divide a chapati into three pieces so like this you can see here in this diagram so what we have did here we have divided a chapati into three pieces you can see here in this diagram now you must be thinking what are we supposed to do with this chapatis so let's do the experiment what we are going to do we are going to keep all these different pieces of the chapatis in a box okay and we are before going to keep into the box we are going to apply some tricks and the techniques so where we are going to keep these boxes and how we are going to keep these boxes it will differ for each piece of the chapati so what we are going to do with all these three pieces of the chapati so you can see that over here put one piece in a closed box as it is what we are going to do we are going to take one piece of chapati and we are going to keep in a box in a container okay we are not doing anything we just took one piece of the chapati we broke it and we put into the closed box okay so that part is finished now what we have to do with the second piece of the chapati now what we are going to do the second piece of the chapati we will roast on the hot pan so now you know when we roast small piece of the chapati on the hot pan what will happen the chapati will become crispy the chapati will become crispy and because of the hot pan whatever moisture is present in the chapati it will get removed very immediately am i right what we have to do we have to roast the piece of the chapati on the hot pan so when we will roast a piece of chapati hot pan that chapati piece it will become very crispy okay and then when that piece of chapati when it will become cool when we will cool it then again we have to put into the second box okay in first case what we did the first piece of chapati as it is we kept into the closed box we haven't done anything to that then for second piece of chapati what we did the second piece of chapati we put on the hot pan we roasted it and we made it crispy and that crispy piece of chapati we kept into the box and uh, why it became very crispy because whatever water content or whatever moisture it was present in that piece of chapati it got removed completely because of the roasting process now what are we uh, what are we going to do with the third piece of chapati the third piece of chapati we are going to put into the box and that box we are going to put as it is into the refrigerator okay so in fridge we are going to keep that 
so what i have told you just now what experiment we are going to do we took one chapati and that chapati we uh, broke into three parts the we made the three pieces of the chapati one piece we kept as it is in the closed box we haven't done anything to that the second piece of the chapati we roasted on hot pan we removed all the sugar and then that crispy piece of the chapati we packed into the closed box and what about the third piece of the chapati the third piece of chapati we took and we kept in the box and that box we kept as it is into the refrigerator okay uh, the first case uh, the first piece of the chapati and second piece of the chapati we kept outside only only third piece of the chapati we kept in the refrigerator remember that okay so this is the experiment which we are going to follow now students uh, like this i have put the chapati into the box you can see that over here and again this piece of the chapati you have to cover properly you don't have to leave it like that only okay so observe every piece of the chapati the three piece of the chapati every morning and evening for 3 to 4 days you can follow this method what we have done we took three piece of chapati and we kept in the three different different boxes third box we kept in the refrigerator second piece we roasted and the first piece we kept as it is into the box and all the all these three boxes we are going to observe for 2 to 3 days simultaneously and we are going to see whether there are certain kind of the changes or not one by one okay so students can you tell me after continuous observation let's say for 2 to 3 days or after one week what do you see what kind of changes we will be able to see in the three kind of the boxes any guesses any guesses students what will happen to the chapati which we roasted what will happen to the chapati which we roasted when we roasted the chapati on the hot pan it became very crispy and all the water all the moisture which was present in the piece of chapati we completely removed that so what will be the changes which you will see will there any kind of the changes or there will be no changes so students we see no changes in the crisp piece of the chapati which was roasted on the pan and put into the box you can see here in this diagram the chapati remained as it is it did not spoiled at all why this chapati remained as it is because when we roasted chapati all the moisture it got removed completely all water content removed completely so what we learnt here in the absence of the moisture in the absence of the water the food material will remain healthy for consumption okay so the roasted piece of the chapati remained as it is there is no changes at all even after 3 to 4 days of observation what about the uh, third piece of chapati which we kept in the refrigerator any guesses what might happen to the piece of the chapati which we had kept in the refrigerator any guesses again there is no changes there is no changes in the piece of the chapati which we put in the refrigerator or which we put in the fridge why students there is no changes because this piece of chapati we kept in the fridge and the fridge has low temperature and at the low temperature the food stuff it will remain healthy for consumption so what we learnt now the two piece of the chapati one which was crispy and the one which was kept in the refrigerator there are no changes at all now what about the first piece of the chapati the first piece of chapati without doing anything we just put into the box now what will be the kind of the changes in that chapati so student the first piece of the chapati which we haven't done anything and we packed directly into the box after 3 to 4 days we see white black or greenish fiber like a cotton wool growing on the piece of the chapati placed in the closed box 
you can see here in this diagram students on the layer of the chapati slightly greenish uh, part you can see here in this diagram slightly greenish part so that greenish part which you can see on the chapati okay so that is the type of the microorganism which is growing and do you know that students after 3 to 4 days when you observe this chapati it it also starts smelling the smell is unbearable you can't smell it okay the smell is not good at all and even you can see that there is sometime white black or greenish fiber like a cotton wool on the chapati so students here you can see that the cotton wool like fibrous growth which we can see on the chapati it is a fungus what it is fungus so the fungus is grown on the chapati where we kept like that only outside for 3 to 4 days without treatment any kind of the treatment so students this fungus it is one of the type of the microorganism so what we learnt in this experiment student we learnt that what we have done till now we divided chapati into three pieces one piece without treatment we kept in the box second piece we roasted on hot pan and then we kept into the box third piece of chapati we kept in the fridge the piece of the chapati which we kept in the fridge and the piece of the chapati which was roasted on the hot pan there were no changes at all chapati were as it is healthy for consumption but the first piece of chapati which was kept like that only for days suddenly after some days we can see that there is a growth of the fungus on the chapati now students you must be thinking that why the fungus grew on the chapati in the box why so there must be some reason why the fungus it is growing on the uh, piece of chapati which we kept in the box okay so what are the exactly reason why fungus grew on the chapati in the box so let's see the reason why this fungus particularly grew on that chapati so point number 1 the spores of the fungus are present in the air and the water do you know that student right now also we are sitting at home around our air there are many spores of the fungus there are many spores of the fungus which are present in the air also even in the water also okay so if air water and warmth are available i repeat once again if air water and warmth warmth means what particular required temperature so even microorganism require particular temperature for their growth and development okay so students if air water and warmth are available then microorganisms grow rapidly in any type of the food stuffs what is the requirement for the growth of the microorganism what are the requirement for the growth of the microorganism air water and warmth are the conditions which are required for the rapid growth of the microorganism in the food stuffs the chapati in the box created favorable condition for the growth of the fungus what do you mean by favorable condition the conditions which were required for the growth of the fungus they all were present in the box of chapati and as a result the fungus grew on the chapati okay so student now did you understand why fungus grew on the piece of the chapati what is the reason reason number 1 spores of the fungus are present in air and water second point if air water and warmth are available then microorganisms grow rapidly in the food stuffs the third point the chapati in the box created favorable condition for the growth of the fungus that's why the fungus grew on the chapati in the box so student it is one of the important question which might come for your exam also why fungus grew on the chapati in the box so now you must have understood the reason 
सो यू कैन कॉपी द रीजन्स विच आई हैव टोल्ड यू जस्ट नाउ इन योर नोटबुक ऑल्सो ओके स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सी यर फंगस डजंट ओनली ग्रो ऑन चपाती फंगस कैन ग्रो ऑन ऑल टाइप ऑफ द फूड स्टफ हियर यू कैन सी दैट फंगस कैन इवन ग्रो ऑन दी पीस ऑफ द ब्रेड ऑल्सो ओके एंड इवन फंगस डजंट ओनली ग्रो ऑन द पीस ऑफ द ब्रेड इट कैन इवन ग्रो ऑन द फ्रूट्स ऑल्सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट द ऑरेंज इवन ऑन ऑरेंज कैन यू सी द ग्रीनिश एंड व्हाइटिश लेयर ऑन द आउटर सर्फेस सो दिस ग्रीनिश एंड व्हाइटिश सर यू नो लेयर विच यू सी ऑन द आउटर सर्फेस ऑफ द ऑरेंज इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ द फंगस सो स्टूडेंट्स ऑल टाइप ऑफ द फूड स्टफ लेट से ऑल टाइप ऑफ द फ्रूट्स इवन चपाती ब्रेड ऑन दैट ऑल्सो द फंगस ग्रोज इवन स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी टेल यू दैट एट आर होम ऑल्सो इफ सपोज वी कुक द दाल ओके दाल राइस फॉर दाल विच वी कुक नो इवन दाल ऑल्सो गेट स्पॉइल्ड इमिजिएटली इफ वी कीप दैट फॉर टू टू थ्री डेज हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई इफ द दाल इट इज इन गुड कंडीशन और बैड कंडीशन सपोज इफ दाल वेंट बैड देन ऑन द लेयर ऑफ द दाल यू कैन सी द स्टिकी लेयर एंड इट स्टार्ट स्मेलिंग बैडली सो दैट मीन्स वॉट द दाल इज ऑलरेडी स्पॉइल्ड सो वॉट वी लर्न जस्ट नाउ फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द वॉट वी हैड जस्ट लर्न य for growing the food microorganism for growing any kind of the microorganism what what is required air and water is required so students you all know that there are different type of the microorganism which are present around us in the air as well as in the water okay usually air moisture and the warmth are available uh, wherever it is available where the food is kept okay it means that it is always possible for microorganism grow rapidly in the food stuff uh, any kind of the food stuff you can see that so what are the condition which are required for the growth and development of the microorganism students air moisture and warmth warmth means what particular temperature okay we can't see the microorganism but if they begin to grow our food gets spoiled very immediately okay and when food gets spoiled no the nutritional value of the food is decrease and then this food becomes unfit to consume so that's why student always remember if the food is spoiled do not ever consume even sometime the fungal infection even sometime fungus grows on pickles also if the pickles are not preserved properly even fungus grows on uh, you know curd also on any type of the food material where moisture is maximum and if you kept that open okay so always remember if the food it is in the good condition then only you will consume it even if you see any kind of whitish layer or greenish layer on any kind of the food stuff then don't touch it don't consume it at all okay so i hope so now you understood how exactly the food spoilage occurs suppose student by mistakely if any kind of the student or any kind of an individual if they consume spoiled food what will happen if we consume the spoiled food on food fungus is growing the microorganisms are growing if we consume the food which is already spoiled then what will happen so when we consume the spoiled food students we will have a lot of stomach ache okay stomach ache means what your stomach will start paining your stomach will start paining then you will have the diarrhea diarrhea means what loose motions okay you will have diarrhea loose motion stomach pain and even person might even suffer from the vomiting also whatever food you have consumed that will again come out okay so this spoiled food if you consume then it will lead to the food poisoning what we call it as food poisoning so in order to avoid stomach pain and diarrhea and vomiting we need to avoid the consumption of this spoiled food and do you know that even sometime the spoiled food it can even threaten the life also even if the food poisoning if it if it is too much then even the person may die also it is that much threatening to the life so always remember 
only consume that food stuff which is healthy which is not spoiled at all understood now so i hope so student whatever we have learned today you understood that very well now let's revise once again what we have learned today we learned that we conducted one experiment depending upon chapati we broke the chapati we divided chapati into three pieces okay so the one chapati we kept in refrigerator and the one piece of chapati we roasted on hot pan there were no changes but the piece of chapati which was kept like that only in the box we saw cotton like fibrous growth so that growth we call it as what fungus and fungus is type of what microorganism what else we learn today why food gets spoiled why fungus grew on the chapati because the spores of the fungus are present in air and water if air water and warmth are available the microorganism grow rapidly in the food stuff the chapati in the box created favorable condition for the growth of the fungus so that's why the fungus grew on the box okay and what else we learnt now we need to avoid the consumption of the spoiled food if we consume the spoiled food then person may suffer from stomach ache diarrhea vomiting and even sometime it can even be threatening to the life also okay so i hope so student whatever we learnt today you must have understood that and do not forget to uh, write down all the notes in your notebook also okay so see you in the next session bye take care